there are the characteristics of entrepreneur. You should be creative, you should be humble, you should be hardworking, you should be what not, have confidence in you, and you should be a good communicator. And in that process, if you adapt these all these qualities, whether you work for any organization or work for yourself, definitely it will help the society as a whole. So entrepreneurship is kind of a personality development, not only a business development, it is a personality development, the value-based systems, you know, all the good qualities, you know, if you are able to imbibe and if you are able to practice, if you are able to implement, it makes you a good citizen. So whatever you do as a good citizen, definitely you will be able to achieve success and happiness in your life. So this uh, six days really is a wonderful uh, union of all these uh, 26 plus 7, 18, you know, around 42 minds. And uh, six days we all interacted, exchanged ideas. And I am at least I'm satisfied for myself. The kind of uh, interactions have taken place. I want to hope people who have supported our cause and uh, they have taken their time and came here and uh, explained to all of, them, all of us, you know, the principles of uh, establishing a venture, how to take the venture to a uh, national building uh, and kind of goals we have to make money out of all these businesses. So I'm sure even in a IAM program, I don't think people would have got got this kind of a experience and exposure. The highlight of this program, sir, we have taken all these participants to four major uh, innovation or startup ecosystems in Michelle Babu. Starting with the AMP Tech, the excellent facilities. Uh, on their own, they could not have been able to enter into the gates of the AMP Tech. Such a world class facility, they spent half a day there. From there, we came to AP Innovation Society. They have seen interact with large number of people again. Part of companies there, and from there we came to IAM field. IAM also, whatever initiatives they have been taking to promote entrepreneurship in this country and in this part of the region, they have also spent uh, an hour or so with us explaining the various initiatives, various programs we are conducting to promote entrepreneurship and the better of our We have we also have taken a lot of time to explain how we are working, how we are motivating is startup companies. In fact, the road uh, as an academic institute, as a partnership with uh, NIMSME, I myself personally felt you have done a wonderful job. There is no doubt in my heart and uh, hope the same uh, feeling is there in all of you also. We all certainly got benefit out of this program. And uh, uh, this is all, of course, this is all happened because of the support that I got from our Honorable Vice Chancellor and our Special Register level. And of course, the uh, entire team of uh, EPIAT who are working with me and the uh, National Institute for MSME and all the speakers, they all are uh, very, very timely they were in here and uh, they come prepared, you know, to address and to share the knowledge what is required by all of us for this program. And we are also grateful to Andhra University Alumni Association gave this beautiful uh, building for us. So this we are not able to uh, organize in such an effective manner. And uh, all the everybody has contributed. If anyone wanted to make a program successful, it's not the one person or two person's contributions. All the stakeholders have really contributed. We all uh, enjoyed this space and in fact I don't remember I have a family. It is a kind of uh, involvement I had. With all these six days, with all my past. This is your extended family. <laughs> <laughs> so, no thought has come to my mind all these six days about my family or going for children or grandchildren. That is the kind of uh, involvement yeah, I had. I enjoyed it. Really. And uh, I thank uh, Anandal for this uh, excellent time to spend together. Yes, I would like to give the summary of all these uh, uh, feedback. One of the requirements is that all the participants have to give their feedback in writing. MSME has given a performance. I think they have evaluated this uh, feedback in about uh, 9 or 10 parameters. So uh, I got this feedback from all the 27 participants. Uh, 10 participants have given 10 marks out of 10. 9 participants have given, so 14 participants have given 9 marks. Uh, three participants have given eight marks, one participant has given seven marks. 
So that is three percent for the people they gave hundred percent. Fifty-two percent of the participants gave sorry, fifty-two uh, percent of the participants gave the ninety percent, and eleven percent gave eighty percent marks, and three percent gave the seven marks. So uh, this is the feedback, and thank you very much for uh, all of you for. Uh, it shows that you know there is no compulsion. We now told you we should only give uh, the best uh, ranking. You know, these are all uh, very transparent and candid manner. Uh, the questions were raised by the person. We are very thankful to all of you for giving an excellent feedback. And I would also request uh, some of the participants to give the feedback in an oral form because uh, our distinguished guests they will not be able to appreciate. You know. By simply giving the numbers, but always the very compound. Stay with us. So uh, I don't name one of you because of my biasness. <laughs> you know, uh, you volunteer yourself and uh, come forward and uh, say what you like, what you did not like, so that uh, next future program will be easy. Every day, human there will be always mistakes. Nobody will be perfect, as our elders are saying. So, whatever uh, uh, shortcomings or uh, deficiencies you have noticed, please tell us. Honestly, because of uh, our side, because of uh, lack of uh, uh, enough strength of uh, team here, there might be some kind of a shortcomings. Please let us know so that uh, in the future we will like to take care of them and uh, see to that we will organize our programs in an effective manner. Who would like to come first? Follow me. Introduce yourself. Good afternoon to all the delegates, dignitaries, dignitaries, and guys. My co-participants. We had a. I think it's a fulfilled experience. Other than going in terms of technology, we had a. It's a roller coaster ride. After now, everything is there. And each and every uh, speaker or who have come here to deliver uh, the session were unique in their own way. Each and every. So we really thank uh, for arranging this kind of program. And uh, a big round of applause to <laughs> also Mr. Uh, Ravi. Uh, we actually couldn't uh, find time to go through all the information hub and uh, uh, centers over there. Uh, otherwise, you would have shown us the, the kind of energy you would have watched even at 9.30 uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, p.m. We are you know, really still with that kind of energy. I think uh, those things we need to learn uh, more, than, more than what we had on the technical kind of things or you know, funding and all that. But this is very important. The kind of uh, amount of energy and support which they gave it is there and each and every part is there. speaker have shared the business card or you know, the quarter card. So it is now our uh, responsibility to interact with them and take to this uh, next level. Maybe we may not become entrepreneurs, but then the what uh, always what I was mentioning is that we are now in the mindset of entrepreneurial. At least we think in that angle. So at least in that uh, we need to at least convert many people you know, into that and support or bring them to uh, this uh, information up and make it there. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. A very good afternoon to one and all present here. A uh, very big thank you to our uh, registrar, sir, for. Uh, coming here and spending uh, his time, his valuable time in encouraging or uh, educating us on marketing skills. That was uh, the highlight of uh, our uh, whole course. And he gave us uh, he gave us a very simple tip that we need to sell from nothing. Like we need we need to create the need from if there is no, no need there is if there is no need. So that is the very uh, important uh, quote type that I would take uh, from the entire course. And second thing, uh, uh, 
uh, as our journey of the six days is a wonderful uh, journey talking to each other as well as creating a network capital and uh, getting all the relevant information that is needed to start an enterprise and at the same time utilize our time constructively. So that is what we all could do in these six uh, days. Uh, coming to my personal experience, I was uh, uh, shuttling between my work and uh, uh, this training course. I'm a visiting faculty at IIAM. It's one of the old B school where uh, we, we teach management, advanced management. And uh, from this particular training, I would take away uh, all the experiences of our learned entrepreneurs, learned people, and experience in their own way. So this is what I personally take from this, and I uh, encourage the budding uh, entrepreneurs or uh, the young minds to think in a way like an entrepreneur, even though you're not an entrepreneur. So this is what we learned in these six days. And uh, coming to the uh, knowledge sharing part from the experienced people, definitely they are, they are very much uh, experienced and they attended all the help that they uh, were uh, supposed to give. And more importantly, I'd like our uh, journey, yesterday's journey where we went through, uh, we went uh, to different four different places, starting from AMTZ, which is an upcoming uh, innovation center, uh, Innovation Valley, then uh, SPPI, and uh, IIM, IIM uh, field, uh, uh, and our AHAB. So AHAB, uh, I have no uh, words to say, and it was uh, it was just a tall building that is uh, that we can see from anywhere, but it has got so many things inside. So that one we could uh, see personally, sir. And thanks to our uh, Ravi Ishwarapu sir for uh, uh, heading and uh, guiding the budding entrepreneurs and uh, giving them an opportunity to shine just like him. Uh, and but throughout these six days, it is just not uh, an MVP program, but it is uh, a, an entrepreneurial uh, starting of uh, every individual. So I'd like to thank from the bottom of my heart uh, the uh, organizers, organizing uh, department DI, EPIIT, IPR chair, uh, which is not only uh, plans this whole program in a meticulous way, but also involved and they made sure that we are all involved in what we are doing. So this involvement is very much needed for any entrepreneur to be successful, whether they uh, go forward uh, in their entrepreneurship journey or not. So coming to the uh, learning part, yes, we all learn a lot and uh, uh, I wanted to ensure that we could make use of the uh, registration part, which I did. My enterprise was registered, sir, or, uh, online. And uh, I'm, I'd like to take this forward and make it a big enterprise, a successful enterprise in the days to come. Uh, I'm not worried about my age. Even KFC uh, person, uh, he started his entrepreneurship, his journey at the age of 70. So I'm not worried about my age, but I'd like to continue further and uh, make sure that uh, I keep up the uh, teachings from our Pushottam uh, sir, uh, valuable to me as well as for my students and uh, whoever I come across. And I'd like to thank everyone present here as part of my uh, journey in this uh, six-day program as co-participants, as knowledge sharing people, uh, all the knowledge rendering persons. Uh, I'd like to thank each one of you uh, from the bottom of my heart in this uh, endeavor. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to talk to you and, and uh, thank you very much sir, for this wonderful opportunity. Oh yes, for entrepreneurship and marriage. <laughs> <laughs> any time, any time to marry. Any time, one can do it. Sir, marriage, say, earlier it was age, now there is no age. <laughs> <laughs>
will even you wait and then still agree to marry, then there's nobody to say. Anyone from the side? It's the parties and lessons. Anyone? Any extra? Yeah, come. to one and all, uh, good afternoon to all the delegates and all the colleagues who came here to learn something new. And myself coming to my introduction, myself Nageshwaro, currently pursuing B.Tech final year in civil engineering and from Wisdom College. So before starting my speech, I would like to tell my heartful thanks, thanks for our VC sir, our registrar sir and Purushottam sir and Ravi sir and especially my principal, Honorable Principal Stephen sir for providing me a great opportunity to learn something apart from academics. So after attending these six days, I have learned something new. Actually I was about to complete my graduation within two months and I have always had the fear about the employment. I am about to complete my B.Tech, what shall I do, how will I, how will I get the employment. But after attending these six days of the session, my entire thinking process has changed. So right now I didn't have the fear of employment and right now I have the confidence that I can give, provide the employment, not pursuing the employment. I can become an employer, not an employer. So to summarize what I have learned in six, these six days, actually uh, telling from the heart, I started, began, I began uh, observing, identifying the problems where I can start an enterprise, where uh, the problem, where I can identify the problem and I can make use of that pro uh, problem to start a business. So my entire observation skills have improved uh, after attending these six days of the session. So apart from that, I have got a great opportunity to mingle with the professionals. At the initial day, uh, frankly, I have came up with a uniform, my college uniform, and I have thought, uh, I have felt that inferiority uh, complex. I didn't mingle with all of you guys because you are uh, professionals. So, being thinking as a student, I have not mingled you, uh, with all of you. But after listening to the speech of Shankar Rao sir, he advised and he told us the importance of evidence. So appearance matters. So from that day, I have ch just I changed my dressing sense and I have started uh, talking with everyone in a politely manner and uh, I built some of the confidence levels and I always wanted to learn something new apart from my education. So thank you so much for everyone for giving me this opportunity. So uh, let us be the entrepreneurs and let us be the upcoming corporates. So everyone have the potential. Just we need to uh, take that potential out from that uh, our, our brains. So let us. Uh, we are all fortunate that uh, we are in the that era that our government is support, supporting uh, us. Uh, we have Make in India scheme. We have Startup India scheme, which uh, was very encouraging for us. They are providing the funds. They are providing the support. So we should all uh, use that support in order to become, uh, in order to make our country a developed one, in order to accumulate the forex reserves and improve the exports rather than imports. Thank you so much. Anyone else from the side? Okay. Madam, you want to say something? Here are some of the talk to people. You use your talent to communicate. You have got the topic that you know that you can put into use. Good afternoon, Manada. I'm Keith Lanka and uh, I've come here uh, because uh, we were sponsored, we were directed by our director sir. And I'm from Edmunds College of Hotel and Business Management. Uh, I am really, really very much happy to be a participant of this uh, 
six day program. The first day we will also have come and walked in with a very blank mind. What is going to be taught? Entrepreneurship is all known to us. What is new that we are going to learn? One new thing that we have learned is the latest startups which are innovative that is creating uh, employment to the younger generations. Everybody uh, and the best part of the program is uh, yesterday's uh, industrial visit to AMTZ. It is wonderful. I have seen uh, the young generation below 40 years, everybody is called a scientist. It is like a very, uh, what do you call, uh, kick type of energy that is given to all the uh, younger students, younger generations. People who are less than us in age, they are called scientists because of their innovative thoughts and uh, their products that they have developed. The government is supporting in a wonderful way which we will not ever known at all. All the different types of schemes and all. It is very good to see a few products that are really generated out of their creativity that is being encouraged and uh, there is a lot of market. As uh, a sir and the, all the uh, speakers who spoke here, uh, they were very uh, informative. That information needs to be either implemented by us, converting ourselves into entrepreneurs or else we can teach that whatever we have learned here to the next generation either being a faculty I would like to pass on the information to all my students in the college and if at all possible maybe I might also become an entrepreneur in future. Uh, I thank uh, the entire university and uh, Purushottam sir, excellent hospitality, very very happy sir and uh, in case in future if you organize any such events we will surely want to be a part of your uh, events. sir. Thank you. So next event, uh, Startup Saturday has to begin. <laughs> so there are already waiting People are waiting for us outside. to waiting outside. So I don't want to take much of uh, You tell them what is uh, Saturday meeting. Yeah, yeah. They will have to so there are benefits. It is subsumed into that event, sir. They are all joining. Saturday, Startup Saturday, a new event created by our way. So, it is first Saturday and third Saturday. Uh, people who wanted to become an aspiring entrepreneurs, they come here. Or entrepreneurs with certain problems also, they come here. And they place their problem here, discuss. There will be, you know, creative solution. And there will be mentors who may give you assistance or guidance or whatever you seek, right? That is the objective why, you know, yeah. this is quite common. Wherever there is an incubation center, you know, to create good ecosystem, very conducive to participants. Normally, on certain days, such interactive sessions usually organized. We have a pool of, uh, you know, mentors. You know, every Saturday, if one expert come here and make a presentation, and you yourself can discuss. Suppose there are 10 entrepreneurs, you know, one problem is brought here. If 10 brains work together, you know, there may be a creative solution to overcome the problem. That is the idea of interactive sessions every first and third Saturday. Right? You are welcome. You are you know, it is not only for entrepreneurs, though, suppose you are teaching entrepreneurship business course. You are also welcome. You can sit here and take practical orientation, right? Insights, you know, if it can open your mind, you know, that is the ultimate objective, right? Six days, I think, so many uh, feedback, both in writing as well as oral presentation, made me to believe that this program went on very well, number one. Number two, it has already opened up your mind, right? Because uh, one youngster said, uh, now you wanted to provide employment rather than seeking employment is really a grand measure of success, right? Now, yes, of course, doesn't matter. Someone said, at any age you can enter into entrepreneurship, taking cue from KFC, right? At the age of 67 years, not 70, he made entry into entrepreneurship. Instead of committing suicide, you know, because of the friend advice, close friend advice, he started offering on a roadside his menu and his menu was rejected in every hotel wherever he worked so long, right? So he was disappointed a little bit. I have a very creative menu. You know, why those hotels where I am working for so long, they are not able to keep in their menu. 
in my dish. What's the problem? So when he wanted to come, she said, you know, one friend uh, whom he met gave an advice, right? You start opening, you know, on the roadside, your menu. That is the origin. Can you imagine? At the age of, I think, probably 76, 77, he sold KFC, right? But still the KFC, whoever bought her, they did not dispense with the logo. The logo is the person huh, who introduced this KFC. The same person is the logo all over the world, not only in one country. But these are success stories, right? If you look at some such success stories, sir, the entrepreneurship is definitely huh, is a very prospective career. Like if you look at Karsan Bhai Patel, Nirma, he was selling cleaning water for 50 paise, you know, on a cycle. And how much empire he has been? Successful. Right? Next figure is ready. Ready to be available. I think uh, we can take it. Uh, your address is completed, sir. Okay. No problem. Because, See, if you want to save time, definitely <laughs> I am here. Yeah. Because I have already taken a session. Yeah, that's true. But, uh, I am so happy to take note of uh, the you know, success of six days long uh, you know, FDP and definitely there is a value addition, right? Yes. You know, that is what you wanted at the end. I have come not for uh, you know, giving any advice. I, I just came to listen to Ram Kumar Varma. Huh? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Friends, uh, Mr. Ram Kumar Varma was already introduced to all of you. Yeah. One of the social enterprises, you know, uh, friend, I think, uh, Srinivasa spoke about social enterprises. And uh, there was a case study he presented in his uh, PPT about the Arapu Kaukai. Maybe Arapu Kaukai. Arapu Kaukai again, there are different brands. But uh, Mr. Varma, uh, he is promoting that native Arthur coffee and uh, he made a, a substantial social impact uh, to the venture. Uh, so, no need to introduce him, he is known to uh, many people, both any airport, any railway station, any temple, pilgrimage places. He has got a huge roadmap to launch his product, including Amra University. So, let us hear from um, Sir, to all these things, and that was a great workshop which is not being a matter of time. I am here to, I think that I need to do this in my voice. So I am actually here to really share my experience. But I am not here to talk about what happened, what's going to happen, why is this. So quick, keep it quick and brief. I am actually an IT professional. Right? I did my master's in IT. Next idea. 16 years into IT industry. And then after that, I decided enough of this, I think let me do something more. Right? Then 2013 is when I got into automation job. So I'm a master trainer in terms of soft skills and communication skills. And I started that uh, as a company for Quarter Club. Did decently well for about two years. Uh, after that, there's something which popped up in my mind saying that if I can do something on one platform, why can't do that? Like, why can't I do something very, very unique, which is very close to my heart, which is creative? And I started another organization called the Corporate World. This is more into creative stuff. Your website designing, talk about uh, <coughs> photo shoots, do corporate videos, then do uh, uh, a little more into creative stuff in terms of creating logo design. Concept designing, new designing, what is that organization? Then uh, at the same time, we got an opportunity to work into uh, software development. We, did, we got into an organization where we catered to uh, healthcare uh, for rural dairy. Right? So we did that for about one or two years. Trust me, these three organizations 
it is all about passion it is all about doing something adding value did a lot of stuff which is very very robust which exists in the market is not unique it's not unique if i have to you know 2017 is when when i was traveling to other valley i have been living here for last few years i stopped by in a place called another city i was talking to one tribal uh farmer guys who did one so i have been having a good coffee for a while what is so special about this and what's the journey about you know we spent almost a hour and a half of the words and she she is about 72 years old he said that people like you come and waste my time by giving my advice you will not do anything i know that i'm shocked spent an hour plus and why you say i asked him what is the true problem that i can he said can you kill middlemen which is a problem for the last 15 years now i said i might not but yeah, if you can then i will talk otherwise you don't waste my time of taking care of this so okay let's go on tell me where you stay he showed me down the valley he looked at this down the valley whatever you see in the media is true there is no road there is no connectivity you have to walk down and i said i'm going to walk down the walk down the road all you see in the television is true in the same place it's a 60 to 50 kilometer small village close to here no power connected you don't have road connected if it rains you don't you don't have a way to get to it and i reached out to that village and i was i reached about 5 to 6 and all the villages have come you are a naxalite why did you come to our village you are not allowed to come here So the short man said, "No, it's just a tourist. Just walk up to the money that way." Then a serpent comes out of the tent. He says, "Sir, why did you come? You are not authorized to come here." So they have very close community in the tribal community. Not everybody has that sort of thing. I said, "I am a common man. I just came out of the tent. I really want to understand what is the beauty about the tribe. Which are cultivating." Then he says, "Sir, after six, you are not authorized." Cross your borderline with them. I said I am not a criminal that I am coming. If you are not comfortable, I will go back. Then he asked me what he. I said I am a technology guy. Then he gave me a conclusion. He said, Sir, I was serpent today. Ten years back, I was an expert. I converted myself as a common man just to add value to the village. When I took over this place with this old man, we were only four men. Now we are six hundred farmers. What we are trying to do is to live life with an average. We are talking about an average revenue of this day generated for the next five years. That's the life we should be living. And this may be comfortable. And I said, what can we really add value to this? And I said, you kill them. If you do that, we will start adding value to this. You know, I have been doing a lot of proper social responsibility. Idea. Right? So it's all through our NGO, all of this stuff. The big one. You just see the glory of what's happening. This is reality. I promised that farmer. I said one month from now, if I'm seeing this in court, if I, if you have touched my car, I'll start a company. I'll get your photograph and I'll come back. Exactly one month from there is when I start the company. The name of the company is Ready to Escape. That's the origin of the company. I have no clue about coffee. I have no clue about farming. I have no clue about what is soil. I have no clue about what is altitude. Absolutely zero. Point. But something which touches my heart is: we've lived all our life. We've seen everything in this. We've stayed in five star hotels. We've ate a lot, all kinds of food, met a lot. But this is one place where you don't even have basic infrastructure to see. But to sit down and with basic tools. Five hundred. There is still water system existing. Can you believe? There is still water system existing. That touch me. So I said, let's start. One month I started with that. That's when the journey of our group of eight to our group of six started. If a doctor that village, whatever is procured in that village, is valid till date. I think we are all part. I do the deep crossing. This person do the care. Whatever is the Farmer getting in the market, we pay three hundred times higher price to the to the farmer so that he gets it, and it goes to their account. That's the reason. So far.
five year journey right now. Successful to be very, very honest. You know, it's all about we're adding value to farmers. <coughs> uh, you know, one biggest ticket item which really touched our heart is you know, today all of us are staying very comfortably, enjoying a cup of coffee or enjoying a cup of having a food it's because of the farm. COVID has come. You know, when I'm talking to all the farmers, believe me or not, every week I get a call from them. They say, sir, we lost seven farmers, we lost ten farmers. Probably this box is a problem with a more basic community center, which I have already practically recently have come to work. And I reached out to an organization called Great Forest Commission, so the United States Certification Project, which is an NGO organization. We actually signed an agreement to buy that, that certification for our new project at that point. For a time, they got convinced on what we want to do. Because we invested 35 lakh in this work for public For all the doctors available there, we have about the hard time to do a stretch. We got all COVID fixed on it. And I personally go for three days on the one. We went to the COVID yards We installed all of them. You know, the trust which we could build with all of them is so beautiful at that point. Today I know which village, which doctor really takes care of each other. You know, why am I saying this today? It's because why we do a lot of our job. It's not just about buying and selling goods. It's, just, it's not just about saying, hey, look, I'm going to sell my product, right? Or it's my competition, or it's this. It is not about just buying and selling and trading goods. It is about first connecting. Second, you really have to have a network. Third, you should have marketing. You should know what your market is. You should really know what is your market is. But that doesn't mean that you have to shoot. you have to really compare yourself with somebody else. Please remember, you should have a product which is very, very unique and different to the same kind, with the same line of business. And how do you really make that unique and different is the key. And it's your business. The Alpha Party is there, Alpha Foundation is the key. He is the man and they are the key to exactly promote it across the globe. Why am I sitting in the second position across the globe today? Where am I? Which incorporations? But are two other buses? All we have made to make difference is when I sold the coffee in the market, the coffee is just not a sip of coffee. It's an experience and a story behind enjoying that thing. That's what we choose. Today's model is about building the story behind it. Building the story behind what you're selling. Right? Today, if I come back and tell you your coffee which you're sipping right now, grown by this tell number of farmers from this particular location who has done it at this particular cost. Do you really love it? Or do you want them to go back to a brew or an instant cost which is sold to do this? Which one do you prefer? A prefer which has a story? Generally, which is contributing to the society? Is a strategy which I have Is a strategy which we made us very good? Is a strategy which everybody is looking for? Think that you are, if I am a customer who wants to buy this one, what is that idea? I think it is, it is applicable in all the languages. Right? So to conclude, I know we are running short of time. Please understand as an entrepreneur, value proposition to your product is very, very important. A unique story on what you are trying to build is the next 5 to 10 years generation of the But please contribute to this system. And as it's a time, Today, whatever budget you get, three percent of these are goes to the We are doing very, very small things. And the contribution is adding values because now I have 12,650 farmers who work with us versus the 62, 62 farmers. Farmers come up to us saying that, sir, we have an NPO, we have got you know, so many villages. All I do is we just drive down, spend some time and see what's happening. We get the expertise from Bath Road of India and all of these spend time with the villagers, tell them, sir, this is the problem. You know, the problem here is, the government has a lot of evidence. You as a startup have to bridge that gap for you to be successful on both sides. You're building the economy, indirectly or directly, and you're adding value to the So this, this formula is helping me out. Maybe, maybe we have to talk to you successfully. You're thinking big, giving employment to people, like, you cannot make a concept of 
Every hundred kilometer we don't have one coffee shop, which is a cash portion. And the employment there will be locally recruited only. And in that it is seven percent. This concept really really are helping us out in building that ecosystem because it's like a micro lot environment scale which is quite good. We're not looking big. See that coffee shop might have only five people. But how many families are taking care out of that money? Does it make sense? Yeah. So that's the formula which we can. So that's all I just wanted to share. I think wherever you can, wherever, if you are a non you know, entrepreneur is building an ecosystem. You should be directly building the ecosystem. Be a one. We make a lot of difference for you individually as, a, as an individual contributor. It really makes a lot of difference. And in your 10 to be profit which you're getting, think that there are farmers who are sitting down everywhere where you can spend that one thing more. And it's you individually working on it. Only that thing will change. Otherwise, if I get 10 rupees, I know how to enjoy my 10 rupees going to 5 star one thing. So there's something which I learned hard way. And the same as I spoke before. But after going into the market, you will learn how to get the market. But thank you so much for coming. the essence that you got from Ram Kumar Verma? In one sentence, can anyone? Social entrepreneurship. Yeah, that is of course. That's a model. That's a model. But somewhere... You're back to the society. These are all very good points. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. 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 Y